As you have learned already in this session, HTML is made up of a series of tags that are nested inside each other. In large HTML files, it can become increasingly difficult to relate what you see in Design View to the code in Source View. Fortunately, Visual Studio provides you with the Tag Navigator, which shows at a glance which tag you have selected and which tags it is nested inside. To begin this lesson, open the HTML test sample file from your sample files folder. and open tabletest.aspx in Design View, if it isn't open already. Now click in one of the table cells. The Tag Navigator should appear at the bottom of the screen. If the Tag Navigator doesn't appear, close any web browser windows that you have open, and try closing and reopening tabletest.aspx. The Tag Navigator shows you which tag you currently have selected, and the hierarchy of tags that it is nested inside. You can see that the TD tag you have selected is nested inside a TR tag, which is nested inside a Table tag, which is inside a Div tag, which is inside a Form tag, which is inside a Body tag, which finally is inside the HTML tag. You can select any of the tags in the navigator by simply clicking on them. Click the TR button to select the whole row. Now the entire row is selected. If this doesn't work for you, try clicking the TD button again, followed by the TR button. Notice as well that the TR tag is selected in the Properties window. If your Properties window has disappeared, you may need to reset the window layout, as described in Lesson 1-3. Next, select the entire table by clicking the Table.AutoStyle1 tag in the Tag Navigator. Again, you can see that the Table tag is selected in the Properties window, ready for you to change its properties. Next, you're going to use the Tag Navigator to select only a tag's contents. Click on Cell 5, and hover your mouse cursor over the TR button in the Tag Navigator. You'll notice that a black down arrow appears to the right of the button. This indicates that there is a drop-down menu. Click the down arrow next to TR, and click Select Tag Content. Now only the text inside the TR tag is selected. Press the Delete key, and the contents of the cells are deleted, but the cells themselves are left intact. Note that a lot of Visual Studio's interface is standardized across the application. Deleting is a good example. Pressing the Delete key will delete whatever you currently have selected, whether it is a control in Design View, or a file in the Solution Explorer. The same is true if you right-click, and then click Delete from the shortcut menu. Close your web browser now, saving your changes if prompted. You've now completed Lesson 2-6. Navigate HTML with the Tag Navigator.